Assalamu alaikum welcome to the global arena youtube channel i am back with another important topic which is related to us china conflict so what kind of conflict is generating between usa and china in past i also discuss about usa china new proxy ground link in is in description make sure to watch that video as well so let's get started the blame game between the usa and china on the origin of coronavirus continues Washington is attempting to put pressure on China on all fronts. Sanction bill against China for withholding information about the coronavirus and combating social media and freedom of speech have appeared in the Senate. President Donald Trump says that China is hiding data on the pandemic. According to the USA Secretary of State Mr. Mike Pompeo, the Chinese Communist Party will pay a price for what they did here, certainly from the United States. The USA also stopped funding to the World Health Organization accusing it of being under China's control and being partially responsible for the spread of COVID-19 in the world. Now the question arises that who should be blamed? How justify are the accusation made by the USA and its allies because USA's allies are also accusing China for this coronavirus. First of all, nobody knows for sure if China was the actual source of this coronavirus. Let us recall the Spanish flu of 1918 that did not appear at all in Spain but in the armies of fighting powers. Neutral Spain was simply the first country where the new disease was openly reported. the same could very well be true in china because china was the first country to report the new disease but this does not mean that it appeared there second there is evidence that the us may have actually been the source of the pandemic because covid-19 antibodies were found in a significant number of americans who had previously had influenza suggesting that the coronavirus appeared in usa earlier than in wuhan third china is showing that it has nothing to hide beijing has released more than 9000 genomic passports of new coronavirus based on data from the beginning of the pandemic last december let's talk about the interests of the united states so why did the usa start accusing china of spreading coronavirus there are several reasons from the point of view of domestic policy trump has had to somehow justify himself to the public for his ineffective policies in dealing with coronavirus at first he completely ignored the threat and then he actively started attacking mayors to fight it in the meantime the usa had become the world leader in the number of sick and dead from the coronavirus the epidemic has revealed a problem for social and racial inequality in the native americans and african americans and this is the group with the highest number of coronavirus cases and the highest number of deaths As a result the USA is showing the world its weakness and ineffectiveness and ineffective healthcare system a crisis in the political system that paralyzes the country's salvation and Trump's personal problem as a leader who is unable to take full responsibility for the situation now the leading political scientists and international experts all claim that After the coronavirus pandemic China will only increase its influence and the United States will withdraw from the position of the global leader. Therefore the USA leadership is now trying to shift responsibility for its own inefficiency to China. It seems the same has been true for the number of leaders of European states. Now I'm discussing the instrument of war. The question is how far the USA is ready to go now to prevent China's rise and the final collapse of the unipolar world system. Senator Lindsey Graham for example compares China's action to sponsoring terrorism and calls for a giving up of its state to China because China must pay the USA for the coronavirus damage. Republican senator also proposed to give up USA debt to China which exceeds 1 trillion dollar. If this happen it would have unpredictable consequences beijing's response which seems almost inevitable in this scenario could completely collapse the global financial system tensions are rising it is obvious that such a combination of financial economics social energy and oil crisis along with the coronavirus pandemic could lead to a sudden sharp deterioration of the situation and deterioration of relations between the united states and china Analyst believes that the third world war one between the United States and China has just about started. All that remains is to find out in what manner this war will be conducted. 
analyst believes that under these circumstances it is expected that in contrast to the emerging block of western powers against china beijing will try to offer favorable conditions to other regional leaders such as russia iran and turkey the weight of these power is growing however there is also a growing danger that uh, they may be drawn into not only peripheral international conflicts but also a real world war at the same time it is obvious that china and usa are already in the state of intensive information warfare there are all signs that the world is heading toward military and financial war in such circumstances there is a danger of sliding into a hot conflict that will affect all countries across the world so i hope you find this video quite informative like and share and thanks for watching